The new and updated slim Apple pencil case fixes the one issue I had with the original model. It now sports a matte finish. Finally. It's not better or worse, it's just, well, different. I'd also like to thank Flux for sponsoring this review and supporting what I do on this channel. They simply want me to create the best content I can while providing you with the best accessories they can. So definitely check out their store linked below. If you find anything you like, use the code AccessorizeMe for 15% off your order. Anyways, back to the review, let's check it out. Do you find your Apple Pencil does this a lot? Or how about when you're done and you can't find anywhere to store it? And don't even get me started on the weak little tip Apple includes on the pencil. I covered a solution previously, but they've come out with a new missile design, I mean case design in a slimmer package. It's made mostly of hard aluminum this time and has a sleek matte black texture all around. You're at least getting what you pay for in quality, or at least that's what it feels like. To install, first spin the bottom half clockwise until it locks out, unscrew the tip just a bit, then pop the pencil right in. Make sure it sticks out on the other end and then screw it right back in. Definitely a lot easier than the original design. Since they removed the cap holder from the previous design, which I thought was a stroke of genius, they include this, a rubber band type holder, which works if you never plan on removing your cap because once you fiddle with it, everything goes to shit. I found that if you tuck the cap just a little too hard, it slips right out and is a complete bitch to put back in every time. Oh, and it's also an embarrassment visually as well. But on the brighter side, even with the new slim design, the case doesn't get in the way of charging, even with most cases on. Otherwise, as a case, the matte texture provides a 256% improvement over the glossy finish of the pencil and even the original pencil case. There are these very faded line indentations, but don't be fooled, they do nothing. It's comfortable to hold and doesn't crease up as easily. I actually prefer the added weight, but I can see how some may not as over time you start to feel the weight in your hand. It weighs in at about 35 grams, which is almost double the size of the actual pencil and five times the weight of a Sharpie. Although it is comparable in size to holding something like a Sharpie, which is much slimmer than the original case design. It has some neat tricks as well. The metal clip actually serves a double life and helps prevent your Apple Pencil from rolling around everywhere. But as a clip, I'd be a little worried as a thin metal does bend quite easily. Although it does help you stay organized and slide in and out of your pockets or any bags. Aside from all that, you probably bought it for this, the retractable tip. First, why it's great, obviously it protects the tip of your pencil because we all know how weak that can be. Even Apple does, hence why they include an extra one for you. Once retracted, the aluminum body protects your pencil from drops, stings, and scratches while in your bag or even in use. But my main gripe with this feature is the forearm strength required that I've already used up last night. Summoning the tip requires at least 8-9 to nine turns, possibly 10 if you have very teeny tiny hands. I've lost all motivation by the time the pencil is ready. Then, when you've regretted popping it out, that's another 8-9 to nine turns to put it away. Which is a pretty stark contrast compared to their previous design that required just half a twist to use. Nowadays, I tend to just leave it open at all times. I'm too old and too lazy. I do wish in their version 3 that they do a clicky pen design instead. It retails for $35 and comes with a matte black you see here as well as a cool silver. Links to those can be found in the description below. This is the perfect solution for those who hate that glossy finish on the Apple Pencil like I do, but also want that hefty feeling in your hand when you write or draw. Personally, the thickness feels great in my hand, but if you're not sure about the size, hold the Sharpie in your hand, and that's about what you're getting here. That's it. If you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and enter our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my pencil case.